down a million times. We've done this now 78 times. At some point, just win the game. Okay, don't make this complicated. If you're if you're a cup contender, win the game. This is since the first of the year, they've won eight of 26 road games. That's not a playoff team. You can't go back to back and just say, well, I guess the Ducks have our number. I guess Mike Smith has our number. Well, then what's the point of? It's it's infuriating to watch a team that ought to be third and ought to be comfortably third playing like they really deserve to be ninth. And that's what I saw tonight. I saw a team that did just enough to stay close enough but not finish. I mean, I didn't see a lot of great opportunities tonight. I just didn't see a Sharks team that looked like this game mattered to them as much as it should have. Ray Arado echoing the frustrations of uh, Shark fans, to be sure. Let's send it out to Phoenix and say hi to Randy and Drew one more time. Guys, look, bottom line, you can't win on the road. You can't win in the division. You're going to be watching the playoffs at home. The Sharks had better solve both those problems quickly. You think Ray Arado's frustrated. Imagine how the Sharks are. 67 shots taken in two nights in Anaheim and here in Phoenix and one goal show for it. I don't want to get an argument over here as raised in San Francisco and I'm here, but I saw a Sharks team who was trying to win. And it's easy to say, just go win the game. Well, what the heck do you think they were trying to do out there, Ray? That's exactly what they were trying to do. They were out there with a game plan. They came out and established their game. They went out and worked hard. I agree with Brett. They weren't great, but they were good. They did a lot of things in order to try to win that hockey game. To just say, well, go out and win the game, and you're going to be you're bad if you, you don't deserve to be a playoff team. You haven't won about this amount of games. Baloney. You deserve to be a playoff game at the end of 82 games if you've got enough points to be there. It's easy to sit back and analyze, and you know, the game is easy from where we sit. But I think you're disrespecting the Sharks when you say, listen, just go out and win the game. That's exactly what they tried to do. All right, let's take it back to the road problems because it has been more pronounced away from HP Pavilion than on the road, the, the difficulties. The Sharks have lost four straight here, and I can go back and even give you more uh, problematic numbers on the road, and we all know what happened in February. Do you see anything different on the road in the way this team plays or prepares or approaches uh, the game plan? No, I don't, because the San Jose Sharks have an outstanding coaching staff who prepare these guys to play every single game, and they do a great job in, in, in preparation. And as the San Jose Sharks have gone all year, we've seen that they have trouble scoring. They don't get a lot of depth scoring. So if you don't have your depth scoring and your top guys aren't putting the puck in the net because you're running up against hot goaltenders, and yes, some teams actually do have the other team's number. You talk about Columbus. They won three against the, the, the Phoenix Coyotes this year. So, yeah, there are teams that just seem to have Anaheim has Phoenix number, exactly. and they have to play them again. So, you know what? I don't see anything pronouncedly different. The one thing that we've seen all year long is that the Sharks have trouble putting the puck in the net, and that's what it's come down to. All right, so another night where the Sharks don't get any success on the road.